So what is going on YouTube, my name is Smehul and welcome back to another video in which I want to show you a very quick and neat trick you can do with your Next.js code base and that is export your code base as static files, right? So what do I mean by that? If you have a Next.js website, you can go to the paid source and you can see that, well, it is already rendered, right? But at the end, you would be able to see that Next is actually also loading your runtime of the application. How do I know that? Let's just go ahead and deploy this very quickly on Versil, which is gonna be a production deployment, right? So we're gonna actually see how the production version appears as well. So I don't want it to link an existing project, test Versil, I'm just gonna name it like that. And let's just go ahead and deploy it. It should not take a lot of time because this is a just a very friendly boiler template. Oops, I do not want to actually redirect, uh, override it, but anyway. So it should take a couple of seconds and when it's deployed, we're gonna see that actually when you load your Next.js website, not only your content is loaded, but also your runtime, that is the React framework and the static props and everything, thing like this. This is also loaded, right? But a lot of times what you want is you just want static output of the pages because simply you don't might, you might not have any JavaScript interactivity at all, or you know, you're just that regular HTML and CSS fanboy. So you can do that with the help of a very simple configuration change. You can see we are already deployed on Versil. So let's just go ahead and let me just go ahead and actually open this in this same window. So let's just go ahead and take a look at this. You can see this is basically what we did right now. But if I go to the page source, we're gonna see that we actually load the runtime as well, which is JavaScript. Not a lot of JavaScript, but still, you know, it is. The React runtime is there. So you can see that this page clearly does not require any sort of interactivity. So what we can do is we can disable this runtime or the JavaScript export completely. How we do that is we say export, export const config is equal to unstable underscore runtime JS is false, right? Now, what, do it, what, what does this mean? So you see that first of all, this starts with unstable. That means this is not a production feature. That means it is not officially supported by uh, Next.js yet, but I did not see any problem so far with my personal use on some of the projects I have been seeing. So this just eliminates the runtime JS. That means you're gonna have no JavaScript on your page, no interactivity if you had with JavaScript, you know, your use state and everything would stop working. So this is sort of probably best for people who have, let's say a blog sort of website, right? Where you would most likely have just static pages. So that would be a good uh, sort of use case. Another use case could be if you want to work with React, but you just want to, you know, a basic website with just HTML and CSS export, then also this is a good thing. So let's just go ahead and actually in the local host, first of all, let us, I don't think you're gonna appreciate a lot um, in the local host because we're gonna already, uh, well, we are in a local environment, so we would need scripts for that. So let's just go ahead and deploy it on Versel again, right? So it should take a couple of seconds. And once it's done, we're gonna be seeing that this, pretty much this um, runtime is vanished. So actually I was looking at the wrong URL. This is basically a new one. You know, the old one was test.test-vc.versal.app. The new one is test-vc.mayholempty, right? So let's open this one instead. And now you can see in the view page source, we're gonna see that there is no JS file at all, right? everything is just static HTML and CSS. So this is the static build of the website. And this is the website which comes with the runtime, right? So there is really no difference at all in the looks of both of them because, well, we are not using JavaScript as a matter of fact um, in this website at all. If I go ahead and actually show you the production one and the main one, you're gonna soon realize that this one is actually much more performant because it does not ship with that bloated, um, you know, JavaScript, right? So if we zoom in here a little, you're gonna see that if I go ahead and hard refresh this, you're gonna see that 20 KB is transferred over the network 
inside of our optimized version which is having no javascript and in this case if i hard refresh this you're gonna see that 547 kb is transferred over the network right so it's i don't know how much 20 times reduction in terms of uh you know the network traffic now this might be wrong a little bit because this react dev tools and everything is actually loaded by the chrome extension so so yeah this this is probably way off the charts but um you know you get the idea even if you remove 450 kilobytes from this you're gonna be left with at least 100 kilobytes right approximately 100 kilobytes so this is again five times much smaller than what you're gonna expect from a, a bundle which contains the runtime right again this is not for everyone if you are using slightest of javascript you should not be using you know unstable runtime js otherwise your javascript would not work it would break and uh, if you are not however if your use case is just for static exports then of course you should go ahead and use that because that would make it much better in terms of uh, you know performance as well right so that's all for this video i'm gonna see you in the next one real quick if you like this make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so that's all for this video i'm gonna see you in the next one real quick and before going if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe Thank you for watching and I'm going to see you in the next one.